Now let's talk about the temperature dependence of viscosity. Now in fluids, the viscosity is due to two factors. The, the very first is the uh, presence of cohesive forces and the second one is the molecular momentum transfer that is the interaction between the molecules. Okay, so as we uh, you know, talked about fluids being of two types, you have liquids and then you have gases. Okay, so if you increase the temperature of a liquid, the viscosity will decrease. Okay, so the viscosity is inversely proportional to temperature. But for a gas, it is directly proportional. Why so? Okay, now we will come to this part that is cohesive forces and the molecular momentum transfer. In liquids, out of these two, the cohesive forces are predominant. Means these forces are greater as compared to the molecular momentum transfer. Why? Because the molecules are closely packed as compared to a gas. Okay, so if you draw a liquid uh, sample, the molecules are comparatively close to each other. Alright, so the cohesive forces in between these molecules is greater, which prevents them to move away from each other on a very frequent basis. So the random motion in these molecules is less. So when you start increasing the temperature, okay, these cohesive forces will reduce. Which means, so if I take another example at a higher temperature, so that sample will have less molecules in the same volume. Okay, so this means, this means that the cohesive forces have broken down, have reduced, so these are able to move away from each other, which means the flow now becomes easy and due to this, the viscosity goes down. Okay, so I'll repeat, in case of liquids, the predominant player is the cohesive forces due to higher uh, or you can say closed molecular packing. Now due to this uh, closed uh, molecular packing, the molecular interaction is less because of high cohesive forces. As you keep increasing the temperature, the cohesive forces reduce. So as the cohesive forces reduce, the viscosity reduces. Okay, that is for liquids. Now to give a mathematical uh, relation to viscosity uh, for liquids and its uh, dependence on temperature, we can say that mu at any temperature is equal to mu naught at 0 degree Celsius into 1 plus alpha t plus beta t square. So this is for liquids and you can very clearly see that with increase in temperature, the viscosity has to go down. Okay. Now let's come to the case of gases. Why does the viscosity increases? Very rightly guessed due to molecular momentum transfer. Now in gases, the predominant player is the molecular momentum transfer. Okay, so when you increase the temperature of a gas sample, let me take this as a gas sample. Okay, with less number of molecules. So when you increase the temperature, the average kinetic energy increases and they start colliding with each other on a very frequent basis. Okay, so when this starts to happen, the, the collisions become too frequent, the molecular momentum transfer increases. And due to this, the viscosity has to increase. So you can say that viscosity is directly proportional to cohesive forces and molecular momentum transfer. Okay, so with temperature, the cohesive forces in liquids, they reduce, so will the viscosity reduce. And in gases, with temperature, the molecular momentum transfer increases, and so will the viscosity increase. Okay, so I hope you got the uh, temperature dependence of viscosity for liquid and gases. And for gases, if I have to give 
a mathematical formula I would write mu plus alpha t minus beta t square. This is the relationship or the temperature or you can say the value of mu as a function of temperature for gases. Okay, so I hope you understood this uh, video which shows how the viscosity or why the viscosity varies with respect to temperature for liquids and gases. So now let's come to two very simple examples which are using the concepts of viscosity and the concept you, you know, studied in this entire video series and let's have a look at those numericals in the next two videos.